We're coming to you from the River Lodge and Grill here in Boardman, Oregon. Rob, I'm pretty excited for today. I think it's going to be a fun day, Mike. We've got Jake London taking us out this morning for shad, walleye, and oversized sturgeon. Depending on conditions out there, a lot of options. Uh, I think it's going to be great. We're also joined by Rob Phillips of Yakima Bait. First time fishing with him. Well, uh, Jacob's got a nice big boat for the Columbia, so hopefully we won't get too wet on this windy day. So let's go fishing. Let's do it. It's time for the Northwest Fishing Reports. Come along as we travel to hidden gems and fishing hotspots around the Northwest. You'll see a little of everything as we fish with top guides on their home waters and bring you the latest in tackle, tactics, and techniques to help you catch more fish. With Aaron Board, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. Presented by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. Go fish. Let's go places. Morning. Morning, guys. How's it going? Good. What do you think? Nice day. Yeah. The wind's not blowing as bad as it said it was going to. So. <laughs> right? Well, we have a good start. We're at the launch here at Umatilla. It's a lot calmer here than it is down at Boardman, so here we are with Jacob Munden of Rising Sun Guide Service. What are we going to start with, Jacob? We're going to start doing some walleye fishing today. Um, like you said, uh, in this section of the river, especially May, well, March through June, the weather is, is our factor. You know, where we fish and target these walleye um, depends on the, the forecast. So. When the wind's blowing, a lot of guys will focus up on the upper end of this pool. It's the John Day Pool, the pool above John Day Dam, below McNary Dam, but we're going to be on the very upper end today, below McNary. You got to start with walleye. We're going to start with walleye today. We're going to be trolling some plugs today. Um, you got some other things in mind, though, possibly. Possibly. Uh, we're going to do some shad fishing. The Columbia River shad are running right now by the thousands. Out of millions? <laughs> I heard you love them. They're delicious. They're delicious. They, they're the best crab bait you can find. <laughs> yeah, great sturgeon bait, good crab bait, and fun for the kids. It's a good starter fishery, so we'll go over that and show you how to... That'll be good for you, Mike. You can bring out yeah. your boat and get the kids and the grandkids out and do that, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> we're going to be fishing a back eddy, and so we're actually going to be uh, trolling downstream against the current. And... Um, these back rods here, we'll put these out 100 feet. These two rods will go 80, and then that front rod, 65. Our technical expert on board today is Rob Phillips with Yakima Bay. I'll be the deckhand today. <laughs> initial take and then a lot of times the rod will just go dead and you'll just see heavy weight on the rod and uh, just keep tight line and bring them in. So we'll go ahead and drop our plugs back. We're going to go 100 feet out the back here. We'll go uh, about 80 feet or so, 75, 80 feet in the middle. And then uh, a little less up front, kind of stagger these back there. Yeah, yeah, it's there. Yeah. Ooh, you don't see walleye come to the surface very often, or is it a smallie? Yeah, it might be a smallie. You got going, Rob? I think I got a smallmouth bass on here. Hit that big, that big diving plug. It jumped, so I think it's a smallmouth. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good smallmouth. Don't want to stick my finger in its mouth because last time I did that, I got a hook in my finger. But I'm gonna try it anyway. It's not a bad smallmouth. So you eat bass, Rob? Bass are good. Smallmouth are good. The other white meat? Yeah. I know guys that prefer them over walleyes. 
was. You're on, Mike. No, get it. You're on. Really? Okay. All right, fish on. <laughs> So says the guide. I'm convinced. Okay, there we go. There we go. Fish woke up. There you go. Swing it over. Hey, there you go. There's, there's a nice eater walleye. That is a nice eater walleye. Nice job, Mike. And that's how you do it. <laughs> You're so good. Cool little fish. It's okay. Oh, those are cool fish. A couple places to watch for when they uh, when you got them, those will hurt you. Oh yeah. Don't and want to grab them. Don't want to grab them there. And they, then if you touch their head, they always flare their gills. And they've got a nice little pointer okay. right on the tip of that gill that'll catch you nice I and neat. I think that's what gets me when I've tried to grab them there. Yeah. I didn't know it was at that point. Yeah, that's right. Right, there's some soft skin there, and then right at the tip of the gill, right there. Oh, check that out. Yeah. So Jake, are these, is this our average for today? Is this what we're looking yeah, at? Yeah, this is average to maybe even a little below average right now on the plug bite. We've oh, been wow. getting oh, some... Oh, wow. Really got down. Really got down. Had a little drive-by yeah. action there. And back to Jake. Sorry. No, that's Jake. all right. Yeah. Hey. A little fish, excitement. <laughs> fish interruptions are the right ones. <laughs> That's right. 18 to 20 inch fish this year we're finding, you know, here in the Columbia these fish, they have a ton of food. And so when you, when you get walleyes that start getting thick here on the shoulders, smaller looking head and you can see them bulging here on the shoulder, those are real healthy fish. And uh, these fish are eating well and uh, nice white meat filet off this bad boy. All right. The old state limit was ten, on the river was 10 fish a person, and I just maintained that on my boat. Um, Do you have any uh, size restrictions? Or yeah, anything? I like to keep the, the smaller fish and the bigger fish. I'd say tw on my boat, I, I want to make sure that we're releasing the bigger females. I don't know. Now it doesn't feel like anything. It feels like a wet rag. Yeah, it's it a fish. Small mouth. <laughs> yeah. small mouth rock. Yeah. Bag. Yeah, if you wanted to mess a walleye, I mean, I would mess a smallmouth bass. Oh, there's a one. A little bit of fight on this. So that's my first walleye. Jake, we're in a different well, spot here, right? Yeah, we moved over, fished the other side of the river, south side of the river here. A little <laughs> more uh, activity from the dam over here. This is a little rough, but. Bring it right in behind the motors, just swing it to me. Hey! Nice fish. Thanks. Nice little walleye up here. Though. Good eater size. These smaller walleye taste better, eat better, have a nice fillet on them. That'll be just right. Get a few more of these. Some people 
like to eat them as well, so we're going to take a couple home and see if uh, somebody's brave enough to try the giant herring. They're a bony fish, but they are just like they're in the herring family. Sardines, anchovies, herring, kind of the same flavor. Um, but guys, smoke them, pressure cook them, uh, get those bones out of them, and, and they, they are edible. We'll give that a shot. And Jake, I noticed that we've got some Dick Knight spoons. Today we're going to run, uh, we run Little Brad's divers, bait divers, STS divers, and then a four or five foot leader to a, a, a size zero or the wee size Dick Knight spoon. Uh, sunny days like this, anything nickel or silver uh, with orange, yellow, they aren't too picky. Fish on, Hillary. <laughs> Did it take too long? No, it didn't take long at all. Spring Chinook, where they'll pick a line um, and they'll they'll follow the leader all the way up the river. But it changes with the flows. If the water comes up, drops, that line changes. So I like to be mobile, uh, stay on the kicker, and, and either just holding the current or slowly back troll, and and work left and right in the current. Got it. And we're still sticking close to the bottom. Yep. We want to be right on the bottom. We're fishing 12 to 17, 18 feet of water. And uh, these divers will get us right down on the bottom. Right on. Came right to the top. It's kind of an exciting hit there, right? Yeah, there, they, they hit slam it. it. Hard. Oh, we call them freshwater tarpon. A little tarpon fishing here on Northwest Fishing Report. <laughs> Northwest tarpon. Northwest tarpon. <laughs> yeah, he's not wanting to come here. He or she. Oh, yeah. This one go back. I don't think I've kept one ever. Have you ever had shad roe, Rob? Never had shad roe. I've never had any kind of roe. Roe's eggs. That's not to be eaten. That's bait. That's bait. <laughs> That's not food. Hey. Fish on, Mike. Fish on. Jacob, would you say these uh, would you say these plugs are sitting right on the bottom? Yeah, these divers will dive 20 to 25, even up to 30 feet if you get enough line back. Yeah. We're fishing 17, 18 foot of water, so they're they won't they, they the way these divers dive, they don't dive too hard nose down. So once they hit a little bit, they kind of level out, so they don't get stuck yeah. um, very often. And then. Uh, yeah, that little spoon's just flopping around behind me. Well, these fish are a hoot. They're, they're hard fighters. Can we just hoist them? Yeah, I'll grab the leader here. Oh, look at that. Oop. That's a nice big one. It's a pretty nice size yeah, shot. Yeah, that's a good one. Big female. Maybe. Well, maybe. Oh, maybe. Maybe a male. Maybe a male. <laughs> okay. Well, that's pleasant. <laughs> now that you got shatted on. <laughs> Another fish on. Can't keep him off. We're at Lake Spokane today. We've already got the uh, downrigger set, trolling along. We just launched at the Lake Spokane campground site. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what's going on today. It's been raining all day. 
now that we're out here, it's just calm as can be, sunny, quiet. I'm here with my son, Logan. Logan, say hi. Hi. Starting the day off with some cacada flies and uh, some action discs by Wigglefin. Got a black fly over here, orange fly over here. Thought we'd try 45 feet and 35 feet to start since not marking too many fish. We gotta find them. You got a fish? Yeah. Excellent. Excellent deal. Wow. That is a nice fat little rainbow there. First fish of the day. Probably 30 seconds after we put the line in the water. <laughs> All right, so first fish of the day. Not bad. This is Logan's fish. It's nice and fat and healthy. We'll get some more in the boat. Fish on. Second fish. Only took about 10 minutes max. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Another beautiful rainbow. All right. Nice and fat and healthy. Look at that. Oh yeah. The treble hook on these cacada flies is just locking them in, locking them tight. So we're catching these trout about 200 yards above the buoys, the danger buoys above Long Lake Dam. Um, not many people know this. Some people think that the lake is called Long Lake. It's actually called Lake Spokane. I know dam being called Long Lake Dam, you might think it holds up Long Lake. It does in fact hold up Lake Spokane. We launched from Lake Spokane campground and oh, they're just jumping everywhere. They're surfacing everywhere. So we gotta get a few more in and uh, we can call it a day. Trouble hooks on these cicadas. They're just like a life sentence. You're not getting out of it. Once you're hooked, you're hooked. Beautiful fish. Actually a little, a little longer than the others, but uh, not quite as fat. Probably weighs the same. All right, so that concludes the Lake Spokane initial fishing trip of the year. I'd, I'd call that a success. Um, if you want somewhere to go, launch at the Lake Spokane campground. $10 discovery pass needed. Head all the way west to the dam, Long Lake Dam. And, you know, in the afternoon, they're all in like 10 feet of water, five feet of water, and uh, they're hungry. We'll see you next time. Today's lodging provided by the River Lodge and Grill, located on the Columbia River in Boardman, Oregon. The River Lodge and Grill, the perfect getaway to escape your daily routine. Rob, you got yourself a nice one here, huh? Yeah. They're kind of, uh, they're good fighters. You get that white body sideways in the current, and they'll, they'll give you a fight. I've never caught a tuna, but I always figured this is kind of what a tuna Dude, fight's like, just yep. in a mini version. A mini version. So that's a nice one, too. This one will catch an eight-footer here in about an hour. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. I like these smaller shad for the sturgeon bait. Just yeah. a little easier for the sturgeon to get their mouth in. Is there any regulations people should be aware of? Jake, can you catch these and use them for bait? Yeah, it's perfectly legal. Uh, as long as they're dead. As long as they're dead. Uh, shad aren't considered a game fish, so we don't even need a license to fish for them. You can come out shad and carp for the two fish in, that we have in our area here in the Northwest that you just go and catch all you want. What do you got, Hillary? I got a shad. Is that what it's called, a shad? Shad? A shod. Well, there it is. Double, oh, a shrug. double. We're doubling up on shad. Double on the shad. Shad mania. Shad on. 
Oh, it's a state record. North Dakota State Champion. Oh, there's a little bigger one. That's a nicer one. Yeah. A big female. Nice female here. She's full of eggs. These shad, uh, they're coming up to Columbia to spawn. And they spawn here below McNary Dam. Some of them go over McNary Dam, go up the Snake and spawn below Ice Harbor Dam. But uh, very few of them go higher than that. Not much higher than the Tri-City. Some get up below Priest Rapids. Uh, none above Ice Harbor. Very few, anyway, above Ice Harbor. And they spawn right here? They in, spawn in right the at the base of the dams. We'll catch the males and, and they're already starting the spawning and the females are full of eggs. Oh. Thousands of eggs inside this one. Cool. All right, fish on. Didn't take too long. Jacob moved us after lunch to a new spot and uh, this is a nice walleye. Wow. Columbia River walleye. Nice job. Good job, Mike. Yeah, that's a nice one. Another, another good size to keep and eat. Jacob, that was a great day today. Awesome. We had a lot of fun. Um, we didn't get the sturgeon, but we got everything yeah, else. We got everything else. We got a good pile of walleye, Chad. A couple uh, bass. A couple bass thrown in there and and uh, yeah, it was a good day. It just goes to show you the um, variety of fish you can catch out here yeah. on the Columbia. Yeah, it's got it all and, and the, the mid and upper Columbia is just really versatile. A lot of opportunities um, and nice weather today. And yeah, yeah wear your day. sunshade. Yeah. So the shad will be running until about when? Yeah, they start the uh, first part of June down the lower river, get here the second, first to second week of June, all the way through July, or through June to the first of July is pretty common. Some some years, I think this year, maybe even a, a little longer. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, thanks again you bet. for taking thanks us for out. Coming. And, Rob, uh, thank you, buddy. Yeah. you bet. See you guys on the water and online.